Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Modern Warfare 2. It has been a long time, it's been a very long time coming to bring this video out to you guys. I can't even remember the last time I had an exclusively Modern Warfare 2 video go up on my channel. It's been forever, forever and a half. I mean, I may have thrown some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay into Dear Nero here and then. I mean, Dear Nero's long. It can be like 20 minutes long, it could be an hour long. You really don't know how long Dear Nero's going to be, so I just kind of get whatever gameplay I can get. But the last time I actually made an exclusively Modern Warfare 2 video, I can't even remember. It's been really that long. And I'm sure you guys are noticing the kill feed in this gameplay. It's a lot different because there's a mod going on in this lobby. Uh, I think the only mod that's actually happening is the kill feed. Of course, it's like red and blue. And it's a bit different. I kind of like it though because the kill feed in Modern Warfare 2 was a bit... It was a bit transparent, a bit faded, a bit hard to see as compared to something like maybe Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty 4. So I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it, but apparently my Warfare 2 is getting a bunch of mods coming in. And as you notice, Call of Duties, like as the years go by, as they get older... The developers kind of stop supporting them and mods kind of start to take over the games. But Modern Warfare 2 was always a game that was always filled with mods, even during its prime. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Modern Warfare 2 today. I wanted to talk about the best game that never was, and that game being Modern Warfare 2. So if you guys were around when this game first came out, were you guys around back in 2009, 2010? This game was a lot of fun. I still think it had the potential to be the best Call of Duty game ever. Like, it was so good. So, it was the first time in Call of Duty history that we had customizable kill streaks. You know, we had the first time ever we could take our kill streaks and change them, and there was more than just 357. You know, back in Call of Duty 4, you had the UAB and the airstrike and the helicopter. In World of War, you had the spy plane, which was basically a UAB. Actually, it might even call it a recon plane at that time. I think it was called a recon plane. An artillery strike and attack dogs at seven kills. That's what you had. There's 357. Then when Modern Warfare 2 came out, it was completely different. Now we've got AC-130s. We've got chopper gunners. We've got tactical nukes. We've got pave lows and harriers. And there was so much cool stuff to this. The idea of the care package. And the game itself just kind of blew so many people's minds. Because there were so many guns and they were all really strong. And they all looked pretty cool. And we had all these new kind of camouflages into the game. Whereas prior, during Call of Duty 4, all we really had was uh, Woodland, Desert, Digital, Blue Tiger, Red Tiger, and Gold on five different weapons. Right? That's what. That's all you had for camos. World of War, they had no camos. Apparently, the, the excuse they made, I'm not sure if it's an excuse, but I'm okay with it, is they couldn't add camos to World of War because they added the Gibbs system. Now, if you guys have played World of War, you guys know that if you shoot somebody like in the legs with a double barrel shotgun, their legs fall off, and that's kind of how it happens. So apparently that new Gibbs system had something to do with the fact they couldn't have camos. I'm not really sure. But then you go into Modern Warfare 2 here, and it was it had so much potential. It was like such a fun game to play, and it quickly got ruined. And it just quickly, quickly, quickly got ruined. If you guys played the game during its prime, you guys know that it was filled with glitches. All right, so there were care package glitches, where basically you could have unlimited care packages by doing some kind of glitch. I don't remember how you did it. But uh, you can have unlimited care packages, and that was a part of the game. And that plagued this game for months until they finally fixed it. And then another one came out. There was a javelin glitch, a really all launcher glitch, where basically you'd walk around with your stinger missile or like your javelin or any kind of launcher out. And whenever somebody shot you, it was like basically Dead Man's Hand, and there would just be like a mini nuke that goes off as you run around. The game itself had tons of bugs. I mean, there was 10th prestige lobbies. There was literal wall hack and aimbots happening. In this game, and I know this because I had them, because I would join these lobbies because I thought it was fun back in 2000, you know, 2009, 2010. Where you could literally see people through walls, and there was literal aimbots where your aim was so perfect all the time. And like, you know, sometimes you get accused, oh, you have an aimbot you got a good score. These were literal aimbots. The game itself was just so just freaking filled with so many glitches and stuff that it really became unplayable. And even with all this stuff happening, I still found the game enjoyable because it was so new and so fresh to the Call of Duty series, and I just loved it. It was such a fun series to play. I loved playing it. And the reason, you guys, I talk about like Old Infinity Ward versus New Infinity Ward, right? And the, the reason this game was not supported at all. I mean, this game was a few patches away from being just mwah, flawless. It's a great game, right? And the reason for that is, is Infinity Ward kind of split up back in 2010. I, I think a lot of people may not have been in playing Call of Duty for so long. I mean, to me, 2010 doesn't seem like it was that long ago. But that was four years ago. A lot of you guys that watch my channel, you guys may not even played this game or even played Call of Duty back when this all went down. So what happened was the original Infinity Ward team, right? 
On March 1st of 2010, Activision announced they had fired Jason West and Vince Zampella, who were the president and the CEO of Infinity Ward, respectively. Uh, Jason was the president and Vince Zampella was the CEO, and they were basically the co-founders of Infinity Ward. Well, they fired them from Infinity Ward. Just got them out completely. They were no longer with Activision. Apparently, there was something going on where Vince and Jason were also talking to EA, and apparently that breached their contract because, you know, Activision and EA are big uh, rivals in the gaming industry, but they ended up firing them. These two, these two people basically created Call of Duty, right? And over the next few months after that firing, 46 other Infinity Ward employees all quit their jobs at Infinity Ward. All quit their jobs. Then, then April, which was like the very next month, Vince and Jason West, they went and formed a new independent studio, you guys may have heard of them, called Respawn Entertainment, and 38 out of the 46 Infinity Ward employees went and joined Respawn. So that's what happened. About... November, December, January, February, March, five months into the game. I'm sure there was stuff going on leading up to that as well. Uh, five months into the game, basically the entire Infinity Ward staff quit. And they were just, and Activision was really just trying to pick up the pieces. They still had pre-made DLC that was coming out, and they still had it, you know, they still put out their DLC, but they never fixed their game. I mean, if they did fix their stuff, it took them a very, very long time because they're just grabbing any developer people they can get and just throwing them in there. And trying to make the game playable. I mean, like, like I said, guys. I mean, it was really tough with all of these glitches always happening. It was pretty freaking tough to get like an enjoyable game, and it still speaks to it to this day. Because I'm trying to play Modern Warfare 2 today. Me and Fox Sound hopped on some Modern Warfare 2, and man, <laughs> the game is still broken. The one man army, danger close combination is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so you can't fight it man you can't fight it you just can't and we found ourselves just surfing in our lobbies as soon as we died to a noob tube we'd find a new lobby and this gameplay you guys were watching this is the best gameplay i got over the course of probably two and a half hours worth of playing today this game itself man it could be so good you know if they were to nerf the noob tubes and this goes back to what i was talking about yesterday in my dear nero if they were to nerf the noob tubes to the point where literally they shoot marshmallows that'd be kind of cartoony that would take some graphical work but don't actually make them shoot marshmallows. Make it so the grenade launchers are so ridiculously weak that they're just completely just not an option. You cannot use them. They're, they're so unviable. Like, make it so minuscule that you lose less than 1% of your health if you're even direct impacted by the noob tube, right? If they were to do that, then the game itself would be really good. If they were to nerf down Commando a little bit, that's it. That's what you had to do. I mean, they, they already did. They fixed all the prior glitches. The prior glitches being the javelin glitches and the care package glitches. And I think for the most part, the 10th Prestige Lobby stuff is gone. It might be coming back because the game is a lot older and they're not, to, you know, they're not supporting it as much. But they already patched the big stuff back when the game was in its prime. Now there's nothing left but the grenade launcher combination with Danger Close and the One Man Army, which... Man, One Man Army shouldn't be in the game. We were playing some Domination earlier. A guy was hiding in a corner with One Man Army C4, and was just loading up the room with C4. And every time he'd go in there to capture B, he'd blow it up, man. If they were to fix this stuff, just... Try and just get rid of one-man army. Get rid of Danger Close. Make it so grenade launchers do nothing. And Modern Warfare 2 would be the greatest game. It would be so good. I even said in Dear Near yesterday when someone asked me what I would like to see in terms of a remake. Like an HD remake. Because you know older games sometimes get HD remakes where they bring back the game to give it new graphics. You know, fresh coat of paint to make the game look good. If they were to do that, I would pick Modern Warfare 2 to be the game that comes back if they were to you know, do what I said and remove the Danger Close, remove One Man Army, make it so uh, grenade launchers literally, like, it, not even usable at all, just completely not usable. And this game would be so freaking fun. So freaking fun. Modern Warfare 2, the best game that never was. Because you can play it, and you're going to have to play for a long time. You have to put a couple hours into it to get one or two lobbies where the game is perfect. And those games are some of the most enjoyable games you'll ever play. But there's so few and far between anymore that you're just better off playing something else. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys all found it informative. Maybe now you know a little bit about Infinity Ward and the whole thing that happened with Infinity Ward. New Infinity Ward versus old Infinity Ward. So basically the old Infinity Ward made every Infinity Ward based Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty 1, 2, 4, and Modern Warfare 2. And then the new Infinity Ward has made Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts. But see, there's two different Infinity Wards when I talk about them in my videos. And that's why there's a big scandal with Activision. And I don't know, either way, still, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. And let me know in the comments, would you guys like to see a Modern Warfare 2 HD remake? How many of you actually played Modern Warfare 2? If you didn't play it, that's understandable. The game's freaking four years old. 
five years if you count 2009. So I, it's definitely, it's definitely an old, old game. But still, I would love to see an HD remake of this game. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to rate it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.